part two of the previous show. And remember, race speed profiles, no, none for Scone. But remember, as we mentioned earlier on, for Queensland, remember John McLeod for Queensland, but Caulfield as well too, as business as usual for that. And an interesting card at Caulfield, as it usually is in Melbourne. So race speed profiles jump on board. We also have a race speed profile mounting our mail double, don't we, of course? Yeah, in Melbourne. Spe a special offer, mounting our mail, you can get the 55 bucks, mounting our... 55 bucks, no, no, so it's uh, $75. 75. Right, mounting yard mail, Warren Huntley's mounting yard mail, and the race speed profile, so jump on board with it. If you want to have a bet in Melbourne, which is the only metropolitan track, out of the three main venues, Sydney, Melbourne, Brisbane. So it's the only Metropolitan track, so if you want to play the Metropolitan track, you've got Warren Huntley there, and you have got the race speed profile for $75, or you can get them individually, whatever way you want to do it, if you are wanting to play Metropolitan Racing in Melbourne. Yeah, for any other Metropolitan races, Morford Hill, Goodwood, Hucklebuck, Moral. Hucklebuck, Moral, okay, cool. All go. right, first up? Yeah. Is that okay? Just find your book. Alright, Yarraman Park, Luskin Star Stakes, 1300 metres. Seas, Artley, back from the championship, $3.40 and favourite ahead of Oxford Poet from Hawkesbury, $4.60 and the others are mighty lucky, $8. Hmm, uh, look, $3.40 was given Artley and that's much shorter in most places except for I think it's Ubet still holding strong at 3.3 so that, I mean, in the end it hasn't turned that much but um, was the sort of the go um, with everyone else early. Mm. So good on the folks at Ubet. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah yesterday on. they had a. Yes, they, they're doing good. They're doing good things. Alright, so, Ubet. Happy yeah, days. The old tats. Yes. Um, Alright, lovely. Thought, who wants to lead off? Uh, well, what, just between us all, what are the thoughts on Art Lee? It's, it's a horse that's obviously airborne, racing extremely well. Gap between runs. Gap between runs. Set for that race. Yeah. You know, it's sort How of. How is it? Yes, it beat. It did win the country championships. Yeah. It beat country horses. It's beat country horses. It's beat last Taran Gale. So, oh. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Taran, Taran Gale isn't the horse. Exactly. So it's. I do think it's going well. I do think it is. You're, a nice you're, horse. you're about but to make the why, point. Isn't why it? is it a short price favourite stepping up severely? In I, I, th I think. I think. Yeah. As you know, I love a setup and. To think about the country championships where that course would have been totally set up for. Mm. Uh, with all due respect to Todd Willen, um, it's not a, probably a trainer that, you know, has, has set a horse for a race and been able to get it to repeat again for a, you know, a, a better quality race than what it's in. Yeah, well, some of these horses so, are raced with black tie. Yeah, exactly. So it's set up, set up wise, it has to be. That has to be a big question mark, and is that and, and set on set up alone, that question mark is probably that price. Mm -hmm. So then you've got to say, oh well, after after the setup, is it set up great? And then um, then even if it is set up perfectly, is it faster than the other horses under those conditions? So yes, I agree with you that price is short, but then again, the horse is airborne, and would you want to be playing? Would I be surprised if it wins? No, not at all. No. Okay, go. go. You can go. I'll, you, I've, yeah, I found it a bit uh, instructive. Well, I'm betting against the horse at that at that price currently. Not big, but just betting up against it because I just think it's such a silly price, and you have to take it on. Uh, I was quite impressed with the trials of Houseman. I saw both yeah. of its trials leading. In, it, it really looks to be going good. Trialed well without its blinkers. Gets the blinkers back on. Finds a highly winnable race. It's top weight. It's it's proven. It, Race as well. It has raced well fresh in the past. I think it looks to get a beautiful run in just behind the leaders. Did it win this race last year? I have a feeling it may have. Nah. No. One started no, track for a second. Yeah, I think it, it just got beat. It just got beat a nose. Yeah. Um, the other horse that was a good run last start was Skip Town. It was wide down at Wagga in the town plate. Uh, I think the top three horses that really finished first, second, third in that race, the form is actually quite good behind it, probably not so much. But it, it was wide, no cover, it goes from Chad Lever to Hugh Bowman, huge rider change. And I think a few of Timmy Martin's horses are actually racing quite well. Right. And Tim's got his mind on the job, he can train. He can. And the other horse I'm quite keen on is Goldstone at $67. It's run two starts back with D Musket as we've all pointed out was huge. The horse racing extremely well. First up at the mile wasn't its go and it hates where tracks, totally forgives the run. Back in distance will suit it and I they're the the three that I'm keen to kind of play. I'm having three units on each of them. Beautiful. Mm. Matthew. Uh, yeah, look I, I definitely did find Houseman. 
Um, I'll have a unit there. Uh, look, Barrier 17 doesn't sound great now, but as the weekend goes on, you know. Um, I like, I'm going to give another chance to uh, Slots, who I was on last week. Um, you had plenty of others. Yeah, the money for it was good, but this Barrier 1 we saw to be um, no good last week at all. Yeah. So, um, but the 1100 was a question mark for me last start, mm -hmm. and it was definitely a little bit flat. Uh, this week it gets back up to its, um, yeah, the distance where it ran the good races to in the provincial championships. And uh, look, I'm gonna have another two units. I'm gonna give it another chance to bounce back. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. One other horse that's flying. If it does get out to the crates, about twenty to one now. And if it does, it could it's easily a horse that could blow a strictly concert. That horse is flying. If it did get out that 30, 40, 50 to one. Yeah. Uh, it's the best thing about it, it. Before it went to the country, it ran a couple of good races in town. Mm -hmm. Do we see uh, Jimmy on Riker probably putting Riker to the test? And you can see that. Yeah, well, sort of a feel. What was the horse that you did to it? Uh, a horse that gazed at Hawkesbury that sort of hasn't been racing well and yeah. put it to the test and made sure it was never going to race well again. Who was that? <laughs> so, seems a similar situation, doesn't it? You know, yeah. Jimmy on board, shock it into, shock it into thing, ride it in the ground, and just say the horse is gone or whatever. But yeah, but he, him back on a dry track, don't underestimate him either. Not at all. I, I you know. I looked hard for him all campaign. Mm. This is his most winnable race, mm. but I've sort of I've dropped off him. Oh, I wouldn't be surprised if this is a bounce back. He's not much of a horse. Though. No, no he's, got, he's got the capability of doing it, but geez, few yeah. and far between. Yeah. Anyway, race six is the Darley Dark Jewel Classic over fourteen hundred meters. Four forty rows of choice. Diad um, Diad Diad Diadine is that how yeah. it? How we Diadine. Yeah. Diadine. What, Whatever it is, 550, five bucks better coming in for backing up. Second yeah, uh, look, Rose of Choice is the one that they did come for early. Yes. Um, yeah, look, I think there was some six dollars, but also five dollars fifty was the main price that was given. Well, they've actually been seven early. Yeah, they up it's seven. Yeah, went well. that went straight away. Yeah. Uh, and now 440, as you mentioned, uh, Vigara 13s into 11. But uh, yeah, it's all about Rose of Choice and. Um, Lovely. You got a lead up, you're in love with it. Yes. Um, Seven dollars <laughs> is just a crazy price. It's, it's trials have been outstanding. It, the horse just looks to be going so well in itself. Its first up run to avoid lightning was outstanding. It got done in the last bound. If avoid lightning was in this race, it would be a short price favourite. Without Jimmy on the horse, I'd probably rate it. Yeah, yeah we're not on a dry track, yes. But you remember, remember with Jimmy with those colours, is Jimmy. Jimmy will at least be trying his best. I, I'm hoping. Whether the horse they, I don't know whether they, I don't know, don't know what that means anymore, but at least he'll be trying his best. <laughs> I think the horse is going yeah, exceptionally good, well. Good I think. It, I think first up, this is probably it, it is the best horse in the race to my eye. I'd rate it six to four without Jimmy on, and probably rate it at three dollars with him on it. So I think anything over three dollars is a great bet. I really just think it will win. Is that I six to four? Sense. Is that six to four of Kathy O'Hara's? I'm compared to Jimmy with three dollars, or is it? Kathy, you might get three twenty. <laughs> no, I was just thinking, geez, I'd, back if I had Jay McDonald on it versus Jay Cassie, I reckon I could easily put two dollars instead of three dollars. I've got it clear on top of, and I, it's the horse I want to be on. If there are dangers, the horse has probably an odds it could run well. Are uh, bound for us? I feel like back to a dry track. Its last run wasn't too bad, it was on the inside and a little bit held up, didn't like being there. I thought it was a chance, have Dalla riding well. I think Diva Tier tro trolled quite well. Did you like the trial of Diva Tier, Matt? Uh, I haven't seen its trial this time in, but I, I do know how well it went first, first up at Rose Hill that day. Yeah, it really really seems to be racing well under Joe Pride. He seems to maybe have a key to it. Mm, I don't nice know if she has a class to this, to this horse, but maybe she just is a fresh horse that can swoop. And I thought Carmen Influences run was rather the last start, fit up, back up on the slight query. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not a huge fan of the back up second half. Yeah. But I the back up's a query, but I think he's got it there for a reason. I do think it's racing well. And just well, the, re the reason is because they missed the run. Yeah. Know, so, you know, like it's, so that's, well, it's not the ideal plan. Anyway. Yeah. Mm. Beautiful. You all right? So, are you playing Dallas? No. No play? Well, no. I'll be um, no 10 units, rows of choice, and that's it. Oh, if, I was, if I wasn't having units, I'd be having units and rows of choice for sure. 
Yep. I think uh, big difference. The horse, it's a very nice horse, but he's desperate for dry, and away we go. Yep. Anyway, uh, Darren. I've, I've got to go, I've got to go. go. Uh, look, I'm going to have Tienus on Diadem, who gets to a much easier race. Two on Fine Bubbles. Uh, four on Rose of Choice, and two on Refer. Refer's run to Bipo oh, no Bungus down over in our Caulfield was quite good and um, uh, uh, the question mark I have about the favourite is um, just how many runs it's had to miss and how many times it's had to trial it's yeah. still going well yeah, that's right. it's big. all that sort of stuff but um, refer big. back in distance is the big plus yeah exactly that's that's yeah. But, um, yeah once again limits of chances all right, Darren, we should mention, of course, you've got Probe Alive with Darren, you've got Scone with Darren, but you've also got Darren with uh, Caulfield as well, too. So uh, make sure you, uh, if you just want to just play, get Darren one out with Caulfield. He's, uh, set, well, yeah, his interim set's already up online. So it is, yeah. doesn't matter what time this goes up or what time it doesn't go up, his interim set is there right now. So, uh, and then his final set will be there just after 7.30 after the scratching score. So, uh, that's all the Darren stuff, and of course, but the main way to do it is through ProBetter Live, probetter.com.au. The English Guineas, uh, so the sure and fast, the other one coming back from the Guinea, which is $3.60. Uh, $6 is Grit, $8 Love Dark, Tarny Dancer, and Boomwa are about the same price. The sensationally back to Boomwa from last Saturday. Sure is, um, and look, there was some money for sure and fast, but not, not much. Um, not much really, and um, look, nothing else has been back, so it's They just... did put it up $5, yeah. it's 5 to 3, so... Okay, 5 to 3 is for sure and fast. So, well, okay, another one, another one coming through, but the thing with sure and fast is you've got a very good data race, it's been very seriously framed as well too. What are you, are you putting holes in sure and fast? I'm putting, Aaron? Him, I'm putting him clear on top and by far the horse to beat. Yeah. It's a horse that's flying. Well, when we spoke about that provincial championship, there was a horse I said, it's a horse for city class and we were yeah. It is a genuine city horse. It's only been held up because it was aimed at that race. Uh, and I, I think this is a very hollow race. There's right? not much to it, is there, There's really not well, much Boomer, to it. Well, Boomer, Boomer, 1,400 metres is not a good mix. He will be stronger for that run, but 1,400 metres is not good for him. And then you're talking about wide grit, a grit, Nayeli, who hasn't gone, loved up and Tony Dancer. It's not exactly... They're the next in the market. They're not exactly saying the horse, look out, are they? The, the horse that shows me a little bit of interest, lightly raised Botany Bay at a, by Team Hawks. Mm -hmm. Quite quite interested in its win. Although its win was overly impressive. It looked like it wasn't going to win, and then the last hundred it was shot out of a cannon and won quite comfortably. Uh, stepping up in trip looks good, and the format of that race has been framed with the second horse coming out and winning by four. It's next start. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, quite interesting. Eleven dollars. It looks a little bit enticing. I'm having a five units sure and fast and two units pyramid. Uh, sorry, Botany Bay. Good for Botany Bay. Yeah, I'm a new resident of Botany. Well, yeah, not Botany Bay, but I'm yeah. in Botany, so give it, give it a cheer. Uh, look, <laughs> five units sure and fast. I think the horse is flying uh, and finds a nice race and. Uh, yeah, Bede, uh, Bede's not too well actually, so hopefully Bede can pick up a couple of wins over yeah. the carnival. Yeah, lovely man Bede. Yeah, I've only heard good things. Um, two units on Loved Up, Loved Up, who that got the Goss form might be okay, and but comes through the Hartley race, you can forget, completely forgive that run. Um, and one on Tiny Dancer, who gets back to a, um, yeah, it gets back to a, a more winnable race, I'd say. Yeah, it's so, certainly back to the ground. They were my third and fourth selection, both of them. I yeah. loved that back to 1400. I, um, like I didn't do as much research into the Botany Bay run as you have, but that sound, the second horse winning by four lengths is apparently a good thing. Yeah, it's definitely enticing. Beautiful. And uh, just to wrap up, Hong Kong is on Saturday again this week, too. I've got to change that on the site. Matt, if I don't, can you please remember? Okay. But Hong Kong is on Saturday this week, so keep an eye out for Hong Kong and as we always say if you like Hong Kong don't miss it out because it's on Saturday not Sunday. The Hortensia Stakes wraps us up. Good race. Dothra I think 650 target inside four bucks. Eight bucks for atmospherical, eight dollars Shamalia, nine dollars private secretary they're the ones roughly under double figures. Yeah this is uh this is a race. This is a very good race, um, but um, look, 
from what, what I could see through my flick of the fields, there's um, plenty of options that were there on Wednesday. Sort of, if they're not there at one place, they're still around elsewhere. So it's just a nice deep betting race. Right, lovely. Who's, who wins? I'm uh, the horse that I clearly think is my top pick is Target Exciter. It's run last start, was outstanding, worked out extremely well, down the outside, wrong part of the track. Got too far back, the leaders did win that race. That's right, man. I think he's racing extremely well. I think getting back to a dry surface suits him down the ground, and I, I think getting back to 1100 suits him a lot better. The other horses I'm interested in is Thump, first up. Okay. I think her, her best run is always her first up run. She's, she goes, well, she's raced well in group company before, generally against the mares, but they, team, they tend to be the group one mares that she races against. Yeah. And yeah, I think Chris Lee seems to set his horses for this carnival every year, and I think she's one that look, looks well placed. The other horse that I, back to 1100, is extremely well suited, is atmospheric. Oh, I think atmospheric. Right. There's two keys for atmospheric, but one is pace, two is 1100 metres. Yeah. It, it gets that and it can shoot the lights out. She is just, she can't run 1200 at all. Yeah. She just has to be held up, held up, held up. She had a 150 metre sprint yeah. and she just dashes. And Tommy Berry, one thing that Tommy Berry can do is sit, sit, sit and let the horse go at the right time. They're, I think they're my three key chances and I'll be having Five units target inside, two units thump, and two units atmosphere. What are we saying about private secretary? Not fresh enough, but gets the pace on this time, not good enough. No, I, yeah, I think not, yeah, not good enough. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm sort of, I'm, I'm, I'm off private secretary. No, like, I mean, I, I don't think the run at uh, Ramwick was as bad as most people think. He just sort of got lost and didn't participate yeah. and blah, blah, blah. That's fine, but still, I, even still, even, you go back to what it, if you judge it on its best, is what it did at uh, Warwick right, Farm, um, which is the best. This, I, don't, I don't think it's best had um, measures up. It's yeah, just a, a nice one. Just, it's just, it's just, I mean, these are these are these are good 1100 meter sprinters, and I think she might be just just a run behind them. Well, she's yet she's yet to prove it, yeah. isn't she? And the finder of probably nine dollars seems. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. As I said, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not worried about a previous run. I just, I just, uh, I just think I'm balanced. The others are yeah. faster than it. Yeah, and I think it'll, if Target Insight sort of weaves through from Barrier yeah. Two, it, it's got just as big as the finish, if not bigger. Yeah. It's got run, yeah. it's around a massive race. The general life in our boy Malik, no, yeah. it looks pretty good. Um, I agree. This is a good race. Eight units for me. Target Insight looks a good bet, and as long as the inside is playing well, should be there somewhere. And uh, five units thump. Horse has the, I'd say the horse almost has some of the, the better form. Um, does take on the, the girls a bit, obviously, as you would if you owned it. But um, stepping up, uh, fresh, barrier three again, it's going to run you a good race. So um, at the price there, I think it's double figures. So um, eight units and five units on thump. Perfect. All right, boys. Well, thank you very much for that. That uh, wraps up the uh, card for Scone. Um, yeah, jump on board. A lot of the products, as we mentioned, they're all across the board, um, whether it's Sydney, Melbourne, Brisbane. But remember, Sunshine Coast. Don't forget that if you um, just want to have a bet and have a win. We hope you don't fall flat on our face with all this fruit can be done. But we, every time we've done it, we've said if you have an allergy to money, do not get this set because you will end up with money at the end of the day if you yeah. follow Sunshine Coast, if it follows the pattern that it has previously. So, Joe and Bob, good racing all around the place. And uh, thank you, boys. Thank you, Aaron. We'll see you soon. Thank you. Matt, we'll see you sooner. Yes. Thank Monday. You. See ya. Beautiful. Bye. Yeah.